honeys, it's Michelle. <sighs> I just got back from a shopping spree. Um, I went to Marshall's and Trader Joe's. I wanted to film both of those for you in different videos. What I bought today was for Thanksgiving and then also just meals in between now and Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving and Christmas. I just want to not worry about food, you know? I want stuff that's easy to cook <laughs> and not something I have to think a whole lot about. One thing about Trader Joe's, if you haven't been there before, is they have a lot of stuff that, um, well, they're not name brand things. They're not, you're not going to find Hostess or anything like that. It's all Trader Joe's brand. Um, and if they're not Trader Joe's, I think everything is, but if it's not, <laughs> um, it's probably from a farm somewhere. For Thanksgiving, Brad and I both love olives. And you too. The olive. Do you want to say hi to your friends? Go over there. Go over there. <laughs> She'll walk over there eventually and you can see cute, cute puppy love. Um, so we got extra large black olives. These were $1.99. There you see her. I wanted to tell you the price of everything because I'm always curious how things compare to my regular grocery store when I watch these kind of videos. And then this blue cheese stuffed Chaldiki olives. We got these last year and they are so good. So good. These were $5.99. And what I like about these, you can keep the oil and use it for cooking after, if you have something that you want to have an olive undertone to, you can use this. Um, and on top of that, you can, uh, you can keep the jar and use it for something else. <laughs> that was driving me nuts having that light on back there. <laughs> I was like, I must have left it on. Right, puppy? She's so cute. She's so happy. Huh, you're a happy girl. I'm going to be making candy to take to my mom's house for Christmas. I don't know if I'll make anything else or not, but I will share um, the recipe for how to make that on here because it's super simple and it's delicious. I got these low sodium salted roasted peanuts and these are part of the candy. And uh, these were $2.99, and it's for a 16-ounce or one-pound bag. I got organic brown sugar, which for it being organic, I liked the price. If it was regular sugar, I'd think, Ooh, but it was $3.99. And then I got some semi-sweet chocolate chips, and those were $2.99. I'm sorry, the brown sugar was not for the candy. The brown sugar is for what Brad and I are having for dessert for Thanksgiving, which is hot apple crisp. So that's what that's for. And then I also got some granny apples. The bag was $2.99. Um, I got some bananas, and these are 29 cents each, so it was $1.16 for four of them. With these, I am going to be making, oh, it's so good. It's this, um, so you make eggs however you like them, scrambled, um, over easy, whatever, and you put them on English muffins with like just a little bit of mayonnaise or butter, whatever, put some cheese over it, and, um, oh, and that's all on top of sausage and really thinly sliced green bell peppers, and you bake it. And that it, it's just everything is <laughs> really delicious when when we have that and um, I always we each get half of a banana sliced up to go with it and for some reason it's like the best thing to have with that so that's what we're going to be having in the morning on Thanksgiving so I also got some green bell peppers and those were 349 that's weird. I got some little garlic, but I don't know where it went. When I find it, I'll show you. I got the English muffins for $1.99. That is way more affordable than the grocery store. If you get a decent brand of these, you're talking 4 or $5 now. I don't know what's going on, but 
Here's my little miniature uh, garlic, and it was $1.79 for these three. So cute. I got some sharp cheese for uh, that breakfast I was just talking about, and it was $3.04 for this. I got some onions, two onions. They were $0.99 cents each, and they're sweet onions. I found, for some reason, there's certain things at my grocery store that don't look quality. The garlic, the onions, not the same quality. That's why I got them today. Um, but the potatoes and the broccoli, that kind of stuff that I need real fresh, I'm going to get on Monday or Tuesday at my local grocery store. This Trader Joe's is like, it's not that far. It's like 15 minutes. But honestly, when you live in Vegas, 15 minutes feels far away. <laughs> Chantilly cream vanilla bean mini sheet cake. Uh, doesn't that sound good? I don't know when we're going to eat it, but we're eating it. Maybe after dinner tonight or something. It just sounded so good. I had to have it. <laughs> and this was, how much was this? $4.99 for that. I got some yogurt, and that was $0.99 cents each. These are so cute. Look at these. And... Honestly, I don't care if they're Greek or not. It looks like they are all Greek, but I just like yogurt. Um, so I got strawberry. Strawberry. <laughs> Blueberry. Strawberry vanilla. I know you, somebody said one time watching one of these, I can read. It's like, I know, but what if you're cleaning or cooking while you're listening? Then I'm going to say it. And there are people that can't read. I mean, if I'm honest, you know, we, we know that that's true too. So, okay. um, coconut cream. Don't fall. And then the most exciting one to me. Eggnog. Yeah. I mean, if you, do you like eggnog? Let me know because we can't be friends anymore if you don't. No, I'm just kidding. I don't care what other people eat. <laughs> I said that was funny when people were like, if you eat this, I don't like you or we can't be friends. It's like, okay. I got these for Brad because he loves pretzels. Jingle jangle pretzel twists. They've got peanut butter coating them and then they've got um, dark chocolate with M&Ms and it looks like Oreo cookies. <laughs> you see the Oreos on there? Doesn't that look good? $3.99 for this. Yeah. It's the holidays. You gotta be able to eat what you want though, right? I got this for me. Candy cane green tea. Yum. And this was $2.79. I got some butter, $3.99 for a pound of butter, $3.49, I got this lobster bisque, this is for lunch today, and this was $4.99 for this, and then I got these to go with the lobster bisque. Kiabata everything rolls, $249. Some chicken broth, $199 for the chicken broth. $399 for avocado oil spray. This is for the chicken broth. I used to get these pretty right. We used to live right around the corner from a Trader Joe's. Um, so Let's see, what's this called? Goya, Goza. These, these pot stickers, it's $3.99. Um, I usually make them for dinner and I put them in broth, vegetable broth, pork broth, whatever. Um, but they're really good. I love these so much. And you could probably make more meals out of it. It says it's three servings per container, but you know, I don't think these are that filling, so I don't mind eating a little more than a serving. Oh, 
breaded chicken tenderloin for $7.99. And this is for a pound, which ends up being, says nine servings per container. So we'd probably make four meals out of it. That's pretty good for $8, right? Vegetable fried rice, $2.99. It's got all kinds of delicious stuff in there. Um, and then I got, <laughs> um, got some salmon. And this was $12.73 for this. I got this loaded potatoes. The guy that checked me out said this is really good. He said that when he doesn't have anything to um, eat for lunch, he'll buy this and eat it. And he said it's really filling. And um, it says one serving per container. I just thought for like lunch or even dinner on a night when we don't want a lot, I could just make this and then we could each have one of those rolls I got or something. I feel like that'd be a full meal. $3.99 for this. And it's got... Diced potatoes, ground beef, tomatoes, and different cheeses. That's why I thought, oh, that does. It sounds like it could be part of a meal. And he he said it's really filling, which he was a big guy. So if he thinks it's filling, it probably is. Spiced cider, $3.99. And this is a big jug. It's um, two quarts, 64 ounces. Then I got cranberry juice. Uh... $3.99. Orange juice, $3.49. Half and half, $3.49. And then my favorite stuff isn't even food. My favorite stuff is the other things that they have there. They have really nice plants and flowers. And peppermint foaming hand soap for $2.99. I love peppermint. I love the way it smells. I love the way it tastes. And I like to bathe in it now. <laughs> um, I say that because I have um, peppermint body wash and I love it. So when I saw this, peppermint this candy cane body butter, um, I had to have this. That way everything smells the same. This is $5.99 for this, which honestly for body butter, that is not a bad price. Not really at all. It's a nice, good size one too. This lotion, it's hand and body cream made with Moroccan argan oil. And it says it's night's cream. I like to put this on when I get out of the shower. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I was so upset when my other bottle of this ran out. And for $3.99, I mean, it's a 16-ounce bottle. It's definitely worth it. Because I've just been finding lately, most lotion just doesn't impress me at all. So this one, the Dermacil, um, the, uh, oh, what's that one that has hemp in it? Those are the ones I like, and that's about where it ends. And I do like body butters, though, too. Isn't this cute, too? I love the coloring on it. So that's everything I... Oh, wait, no, it's not. One other thing. Um, and then we got this last year, and we wanted to get it again. It's the Cedar Balsam Candle. This is amazing. We really loved it. Um, let's see. Three ninety nine for this. It's uh, five point seven ounces. It smells like a Christmas tree a lot, and it's made with natural coconut soy wax, and um, it's got a lead free cotton wick, which I really appreciate that because I have asthma, and I think it's the wick. And a lot of candles, you know, like some of the wicks when you go to blow a candle out and it starts smoking and the, or it'll get like black soot on the wall. There's something in some of the wicks, some kind of metal or I guess lead that really upsets my asthma. And this one did not upset my asthma. And I was very grateful to that. It is a little bit bigger than the other tins that you usually see the small ones. 
They do have a set though. It's a nice stocking stuffer if you have a candle lover in your family. Uh, it's three candles, three ten candles. One of them is this, and I can't. I think the other one's apple, and I don't remember the other scent. But it's seven ninety nine for the three tens, which I think is not bad. But you know, these would be nice stocking stuffers if you have a big stocking. <laughs> and um, yeah, they had one other scent in this foaming hand wash. I can't remember what it was, but. Um, and then the other thing I just wanted to tell you about, it's kind of fun. They have this fun flyer when you go in there. I always get it and I bring it home and I read it and I just love it. I feel like, do you ever watch that movie Baby Boom? <laughs> when, when she gets to that small town and she starts making like applesauce or something from scratch and selling it. I feel like I'm living in that movie when I read this. It's just got this cozy home feel to it. They've got a little crossword puzzle in the back, and they talk a lot about um, different things about the company, and they they talk about um, different things that they sell that, that you can find in the store, and then it also has some recipes in it and information about their products. It's just a nice, cozy, homemade kind of thing to read. Everything that I got at Trader Joe's. Let me know um, if you know what you're doing for Thanksgiving, what you're doing. I know I already asked that, but I still want to know for those of you who haven't told me. And even if you do know what you're doing, what are you eating? That's always fun to hear. What kind of desserts are you eating? What do you, what do you like for Thanksgiving? Um, and I will be filming the candy video. I don't know when though, because it's for Christmas. So it's probably going to be about a month before I put that one out. Um, I don't want to take it there and have it be bad. I want to cook it a couple, like a day before I leave. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. I love you. And I hope that you're finding everything that you're looking for at the grocery store. Bye.